Welcome to the Aero Piston Pump series of maintenance videos. Today you will learn how to install and operate your Aero Fluid Pressure Regulator. Refer to the Operator's Manual or Aero Fluid Pressure Regulator Catalog for typical installation system examples. Place your regulator as close as possible to the spray gun or dispensing device for best pressure control. To identify your regulator inlet, outlet, flow direction, the regulator is marked with an arrow on the base of the body. Flush supply line before installing regulator. Start with the signal pressure as low as possible and adjust upward until proper flow is reached. Remote models require maximum 100 psi, 6.9 bar signal pressure. To increase the outlet pressure, turn the adjusting screw clockwise. To decrease the outlet pressure, turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise. Note that the Allen wrench part number Y106-109 is included to make necessary pressure adjustments. Next you will need to understand how to flush the regulator periodically. The interval may vary depending on the amount and type of material used. By using a wrench and flush out plug provided, the operator is able to move the entire spindle downward and force the ball off the seat which should purge the regulator of particle buildup. Start by removing the spray gun or dispensing device. This will allow any particles to be cleared from the system. Next, insert the flush out plug and turn it clockwise until it touches the washer. This will allow the ball to unseat and will pass materials freely and unregulated. To avoid damage, do not attempt to turn more than two full turns. The plug, located at the base of the regulator, can be removed to access the ball and seat assembly for cleaning and inspection for wear. With this feature, the regulator does not have to be unthreaded from the pumping system. Be certain to relieve system pressure before dismantling fluid regulator. Aero encourages you to take the proper safety precautions when performing this task in your own facility. You should consider wearing steel-toed boots and safety glasses for your own protection.